There's only one rider that this motto or saying comes to mind is when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. <laughs> and that rider is Jason F. and Lawrence. He is back racing. His entire career has been with ups and downs, suspensions, jail time, you name it, fist fights, biting people's ears, like crazy, just crazy stuff is finally getting back on a motorcycle at a professional event. What is that event? Well, it is not a supercross. It is not a motocross. It is not a super motocross. It is not a super moto race. It is a GNCC, a three hour off road race. And which one is that? It is going to be at Ironman at the last race. So, like my title says, do you think he's going to win? And before I tell you my answer, I want you to go down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. Blow this channel up. So, J-Law. A couple weeks ago, he reached out to the guys at GNCC and said, Hey, I want to come back. I want to ride. And they told him, totally, totally. Do you need a bike or anything? So, he gets in touch with David Eller of Phoenix Honda, and they hook him up with a badass bike. Uh, I like some of the comments you've got here with Chad Reed saying, hey, you need to get to training. You know, a three-hour race is no freaking joke. So my next question is, what class is this SOB going to sign up for and race, right? Right. One would think that he would just go straight up to this XC1 Open Pro, show all these guys what's up, get out front, at least get the whole shot, maybe do one lap, and then, you know, who knows, stuff that happens, fall out. It, it's been very difficult for guys that are in race shape. Aaron Plessinger, I think, would make the best off-road rider. He actually, you know, he came from off-road. You've had Cooper Webb try it. You've had Zach Osborne try it. And yeah, they've been good, but they haven't been exceptional to where they are owning what they've done in the sport of motocross and supercross at times when they're at their best. Yeah, maybe if they had some more experience doing that type of racing, they would get more used to it with the bike and everything because basically it's it's got a lot to do with gelling with the motorcycle. You got to gel with it first before you can really be one with it. That's why the factories are so dang good because these guys spend so much time testing and, and like I said, gelling with that bike. Well, the class that he is going to race is it's called an industry class. J Law reached out to me. We had a we had a small conversation, and you know, honestly, my heart thumped a little bit because I'm like, dude, it, it's a phantom. Is this the real J Law? Did Tupac just message me? That's my own fanboy. It doesn't happen too often, but I'm digressing. What he said is he's racing the industry class. So that made me reach out to the guys at GNCC to be like, what is the industry class? Cause you don't have one and it's it's a fun class it's a fun class that usually they have during the afternoon for mechanics and some special attendees just like somebody like j-law and if they have enough entries they have the race if they don't well i've been told that he'll probably do something like sportsman 25 plus you know usually this stuff goes off after the wxc the the women the pro women uh, so do I think J-Law is going to win? Oh, hell yeah. I think he's going to win because he's not racing against the best. But do I think J-Law could beat the best? Yeah, with some proper seat time. And we don't know what he's been doing. All we know is he's been a phantom. But it is exquisite for the sport that we have this figure of J-Law. He's actually going to show up. And man... You've got other guys that shared the last name that have just been owning the sport as well with Jed and Hunter. Yes, they're their Aussie brothers from another mother, possibly. But man, it'd be so freaking cool to see this guy not just line up for a GNCC, but actually line up for some professional racing. Not saying that GNCC is not professional, because it is, but just the class he's going in is more of a fun. So I think it's a perfect get your feet wet, see what's going on, shake some hands with people. Hopefully this guy is on a different kick, right? 
<laughs> he will always be J-Law, even if he is, let's say, a little bit more mature and older about how he represents himself. I think that this could be huge, effing huge for the sport and a rebirth because the obstacles in the way become the way. And we know from the news and everything as far as history goes, what has happened with this guy, what could have been. You know, he was kind of the Conor McGregor before Conor McGregor even was here. <laughs> you just, could you imagine if they would have had social media, guys like Josh Hansen, even Hill, when they were doing silly stuff along with Lawrence, it they would have blown up way bigger to where they could have been making some big big buku bucks even when they were kicked off the team because i think the last time this individual raced was 2010 13 years of a hiatus crazy freaking freaking crazy well this is johnny hopper keep it tuned till next time